test. All right, well, everyone, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody here today. Um, it's going to be another special day in the history of Emporia State Volleyball as we're going to introduce just our eighth head coach in the program's history. Um, my name is Don Wiest. I'm the Associate Athletic Director. I will uh, kind of be the MC for this. The routine that we will do is I'm going to introduce our Athletic Director, David Spafford. He will say a few words, and then he will be able to introduce our new volleyball coach. When that is over, we'll take a couple of questions, and then when that is finished, we'll go off to the side for some one-on-ones with media interviews here if we'd like. I'd like to remind everyone, please silence your cell phones if you have them right now. And at this time, it's my pleasure to welcome the Director of Athletics at Emporia State, Mr. David Spafford. Welcome. Thank you for being here this afternoon. It's an exciting day here in Hornet Nation as we get ready to introduce our eighth head volleyball coach. I'd like to welcome Ken Mershak and his wife, Jennifer, who is, I think, running around trying to get errands done and getting ready to move into the dorm. So that'll be a pretty exciting adventure, as I well know, for doing that in July. So good time. You know, as we started this process, well, I think it's been back in December, uh, one of the things that we wanted to work on and identify somebody who has been able to build programs and somebody who has had coaching experience, has been able to prepare their teams for postseason play and to be able to excel in postseason play, and finally somebody who has experience in coaching and recruiting here in the Midwest. As we work through the overall process, Ken's name continued to rise in that process as we work through it and talking to lots of different people across the country regarding Aporia State Volleyball. As we work through that, we wanted to make sure we had somebody who we can trust and who can build trust with our student athletes, who would be able to take care of them uh, and do the right thing all the time and put things in place for them to be successful. Somebody who has a high level of integrity to make sure we do things the right way all the time. And somebody who can continue to work with our student athletes to be in the community. Our service to our community is very important with all of our programs here at Emporia State. And finally, somebody who has the ability to be able to increase the competitive success for our volleyball team to be in the top 25. And that's one thing that I told our team when we first met is like, look, I believe in you and I believe that you can be a top 25 program. And we wanted to get together, we wanted to find that particular person who has that drive, who has that experience to be able to do that and help you be successful while you're here at Emporia State. So at this time, I'd like to introduce our new head volleyball coach at Emporia State, Ken Mershak. Thank you. Appreciate it. So th think about what happened today. This morning, Tom Brady officially retires. Um, last night, I was uh, in a hotel and KU, K-State basketball, both in the top 10 are on. Um, and then uh, football, I think, signed 30-plus players today. And uh, we're here talking about volleyball. And that doesn't happen um, at many places in the country. And uh, the first time David and I spoke, uh, I could tell that there was just some excitement about Emporia State Volleyball. And uh, it garnered my excitement. And uh, just there's no way that I think, you know, we're sitting here if um, they're not trying to increase the success here. And so... Thank you so much, David. Um, I mean, I would have never guessed a president would show up for a volleyball conference, a press conference, um, and obviously other coaches, the players, um, the admin, and uh, I just think it speaks volumes to just where obviously your vision is and, uh, you know, where the team's vision is, and, you know, we'll talk about where my vision is, um, where we're going to try to go forward. So uh, just extremely grateful today. Um, yeah, you mentioned my wife, and, uh, you know, she's been a trooper through my whole career. It's, it's um, something for me that I think as I've watched some of my coaching colleagues um, get pigeonholed in their career, and they never have the ability to move because of family. And, you know, my wife's been some really great. She's from Toronto, Canada, and I joked with her when we started dating that, hey, you know, if I stay in coaching, you'll probably get to see a lot of the country. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that this is uh, one of the final stops in my career. Uh, I grew up in Chicago, and obviously to be closer to my family has been a goal of mine. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be here, and uh, 
would love to field any questions and th thank you uh, and thank the community members and obviously everybody else that showed up today. So I really appreciate that. It shows truly kind of where we're at support wise, which is just what a great place to be. So thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, the interest, um, to be honest, was I lived in Kansas. You know, I was at KU for a couple of years, and obviously I'm familiar with the state. And um, I just came from a place where you could, I always think about drawing uh, a one-hour, uh, two-hour, three-hour, four-hour, and five-hour radiuses around the university. Um, and how much recruiting can be done um, that can impact, you know, the level of your play. And, you know, I was at a place where that ring um, went way further than four hours or five hours. Um, and I knew from being at KU, uh, volleyball's only gotten better in Kansas City, for example, not worse. Um, the amount of players and clubs that continue to pop up. And I know uh, when you want to be successful, you've got to dominate your region in recruiting. Uh, the great thing is a lot of those key players are still there um, in the region, and it's only gotten bigger. Um, and uh, so that was the first thing that attracted me was like, hey, I know the people and I know it can be really good. The second thing is I just left a conference with several top 25 teams um, and I wanna be in a conference where you don't get sh just show up you know, on Friday night and um, as long as you have a pulse and you serve in, you're gonna you know, probably get a W. Um, I enjoy that where you go against ranked teams and you're playing against the best competition. And um, I think that that's something that obviously I looked for even in my last job and something I was looking for this job. And the last thing is just commitment. And I kind of identified that when, you know, we started this, um, just looking around the room, you know, who would have ever thought that anybody cares about volleyball at this level. Um, and that, that is really, uh, to me, th I'm thankful for that. Yeah, just passion. You know, I'm going to ask my players to play with more passion. Um, you know, I want them to, like me, wake up in the morning and pinch themselves about how lucky they are about the opportunity. Um, and just when they, you know, kind of organize their day, that they understand that um, we're going to have a standard and it's going to be pretty high. Uh, and I just try to ask them to be the best version of themselves. My, my job is to help them do that. Um, and I'm going to try to do that. Uh, but I think when we play, we'll have a style that we'll eventually get to. Um, I need to get in the gym and see, hey, can the setter do this? Can our lefty on the right side do this? Can this player do this? And, um, you know, what can we do and how do we utilize what we have? Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really big on having a vision, but I like to put up some guardrails and, and let the players be part of that process. Um, I'm not going to come in and try to make a system. Um, we'll take what we have in the gym uh, and see how to best utilize that. Um, but we have an idea of how we're going to play. So I'm big on the things that you can control. So, for example, your effort, your attitude, your communication. You know, volleyball, there's six players on a court. You can't go on the other side. That's, you know, 30 by 30. And so there's certain things or identity that we'll have um, on our team that, you know, I think when you watch us play, you'll be able to see that pretty quickly. I'm still learning. <laughs> you know, I think that's one of the beauties about coaching is that there's this isn't math. You know, there's not one formula that works. Um, and there's some things I did at my last stop that, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd probably do over. Um, but there's also some things, you know, of empowerment of players um, that I did a lot of where they did the scout and they did th some things um, that I think to help prepare themselves. Uh, so, you know, it, I just think the challenge, you know, to me has always been, um, I think it's one of the reasons why people love to coach and obviously to hopefully make a positive impact on the young people and um, be a role model for them. All right. Well, thank you all very much. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We'll be uh, sure be looking around. I'm sure we'll have some uh, season tickets for volleyball ready to go on sale here later on this summer. So uh, as we get ready to host, uh, a brand new era of Hornet Volleyball. Thank you all for coming.